Jahan, my friend, let me ask you, did people ever come up to you and ask you for advice? Yeah, they ask me for advice, fashion advice, music advice, life advice. Life advice. Yeah. Me too. I get that sometimes too, but that uh, takes me by surprise sometimes because uh -huh. I'm just an average guy. I don't realize how darn famous I am. Yeah. You on TV. Of course, TV. people want advice. People want advice from yeah. famous people because right. we know about things because we yeah. must. We're famous. Well, yeah, why not? Of course. Problem is, John, they don't realize the only things I'm qualified to give advice about is how to wear a tie and occasionally talk to Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But mm -hmm. I guess people Thanks. still want to get life advice from celebrities, so we're going to have them answer your questions in a segment we're calling Dear Famous People. Dear Famous People, I've been dating this girl for six months and it's going great, but I just find out she doesn't want kids and I think maybe I'd like to be a dad someday. Should we just go our separate ways? Ed in Eugene, Oregon. Ed, having kids is one of the biggest responsibilities you could ever have. It's the equivalent of owning like three ferrets. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty heavy question, Ed. Instead of answering that, I'm going to answer an easier one, like, are sandwiches good? Yes, yeah, Ed, sandwiches are good. Ed, just because she doesn't want some kids now doesn't mean she won't want them later when you show up with some that you found at the mall. Hey, look, Ed, maybe instead of having a baby, you could raise a wolf. I mean, you always hear people go, what, were you raised by a wolf? But you never hear, what'd you raise, a wolf? Ed, that could be you. Dear famous people, my neighbor Dave is a good guy, but sometimes he lets his lawn get a little messy. Is there a way to politely ask him to step it up? Thanks. Brian in Racine, Wisconsin. Brian? Why don't you mow his lawn for him at night when he's asleep so that he starts to believe in what we call grass fairies in the UK, which are a mythical uh, group of helpful young things that, that sort of fix your garden for you. He might, then might start telling people about it, he'll get committed, he'll have to leave the house, in which case then you can move in and have two properties. So everybody wins. You could murder him with an ice pick. I mean, maybe that's just my thing. You know the old saying, when all you have is an ice pick, every problem is someone you should murder with an ice pick. A couple of different ways you can handle this. You could let a ferret loose in his house. You could give him a ferret as a gift, win his favor that way. You could let a ferret loose in his house. I said that one already. Dear famous people, my grandmother knits a sweater for me every Christmas, and she always expects a thank you note in return. Can I just call her or send her an email to say thanks? Bess in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bess, since your grandmother knitted you a sweater, you shouldn't have to write her a thank you note. You should knit her a thank you note. Bess, you're from Minnesota. Do what Minnesotans do. Go out of your way to be more gracious and kind to your relatives than humanly possible, and then quietly resent them forever. You should write an email to your grandmother, then print it out and mail it to her. It's the best of both worlds. Or the worst of both worlds. I'm not really sure. This isn't my problem. The sweater is such a nice gift, almost as nice as giving someone a ferret. The best gift. My grandmother gave me a ferret once, and you can be damn sure I sent her a note. Thanks for the advice, famous. We'll be right back.